minus x dot square plus x prime square and this if you like you can write plus p by 2 d to sigma x dot square minus x prime square okay x dot is this is uh, this is x dot okay and this is x prime okay all right so this whenever we need we can so this actually this uh, uh, simplifies to this as soon as i write down the light front coordinates then we would express the same thing in the light front coordinates either from here or directly from there okay we would do the same thing with the second part of the action we would write it down in the light front and yeah, but we need to change the two expressions in the second yeah, which one in the bracket the last one you, you, um, yeah. you took the minus inside the bracket, so the first it should be x prime square. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, with minus minus. No, no, from the um, from the, the very last one and the one before. Yeah. The, yeah. So. So you wrote down exactly the same, but um, with a plus in front. Oh, so minus minus plus. The inside the bracket. <coughs> wait. What did I do? This is minus here. So no, that's fine. That's fine? That is fine? No, not the last one. So, if this, then if it goes inside, this becomes plus and this becomes minus. Ah, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Actually, there was a purpose in my mind for doing it like this. But I really wanted to show because I always want to save time and I have too many things to speak. So this by this showing a plus sign here and a plus sign here, I just wanted to signify that the kinetic energy is positive. You see, after all these X view fields, uh, they, they are, as we said, that they have dual interpretation. On the bird seat, they are two dimensional dynamical fields. On the bird seat, they are two dimensional uh, dynamical scalar fields because bird seed does not recognize mu okay bird seed does not know what is mu it's undefined uh, for the bird seed whereas it's a mu vector in the target space or the space time manifold so uh, so this and of course there is no mass term for this field x mu x dot square is x mu x dot mu uh, into x mu dot, right? So mu mu has been suppressed. Okay? Mu mu is there. Mu is there. So so it's a it's a it's a, uh, it's a mu vector. So it's a twenty six vector. Okay. In in one time and twenty five space <coughs> time. Okay. For when you are talking about purely bosonic theory, when you talk about the superstring theory, then the mu only goes up to uh, nine zero one to nine. Okay. And so here I just wanted to, 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 to show that kinetic energy is indeed positive as it looks from here, always there is a minus sign hanging around, but it is because of the metric that we, are, we have chosen. Okay. So everything fine? Good. So uh, we could, uh, it looks much simpler and we could, when we like, we could use this. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Now I think. Uh, for the time being, let me better remove this and let me let me leave this thing here behind and then let me consider the uh, let me consider so I think I also need to remove this but if I if I want to consider the symmetries so then I have to write down the full then I have to write down the full answer. So this is minus e to sigma is to be dot minus h h alpha beta so uh, then you don't need this if it is like you can so now what we want to do is we want to consider uh, i think I, uh, I i recollect 
last time when I was telling you that uh, that the uh, that T alpha beta uh, is zero and uh, time was running out. So when you take uh, no this much H alpha beta, that would be the trace of T alpha beta. Trace is the sum of the diagonal elements. Okay, so this is the this is the metric on the word sheet. So h alpha beta times t alpha beta, and why is this uh, t alpha beta in a given tensor ten trace less? It is because now now this guy is independently zero. Okay, once for all. So uh, therefore, anything multiplied this this also becomes zero, and therefore, so it's a just to say that this is a uh, traceless. Okay. Uh, I later on recollected that by telling the things I might have forgotten this. It is possible. So it just an addendum to what I had said in, in connection with T alpha beta. Okay. All right. So now let me let me. Uh, Yes. Let me briefly, uh, quickly review uh, these so-called symmetries. I would not derive them, but uh, just to just to recap that this uh, action, this has uh, some global symmetries and some local symmetries. Okay. So what are the global symmetries? They would be under the space time transmission. So x mu goes to x mu plus delta x mu. For example, here this delta x mu could be could be a mu nu uh, a mu nu x mu. Or this could be so. This is Lorentz transformations. This, if you like, you can call it Poincare transformations or the inhomogeneous Lorentz transformation. So it has some symmetries under the space translation. If you consider it, uh, you could you could also consider. Delta x mu just as b mu, so only only space translations, and this would signify the rotations. So if it is invariant under the under the space translation, it would lead to the conservation of energy and momentum. And if it is invariant under this kind of a transformation, Lorentz transformation, then so we have a rotational symmetry, and then there would be three components of angular momentum would be conserved. And three components of Lorentz force conserved. Okay, so this was only this statement. However, why I am calling them to be global symmetric because these symmetries like this or this, these are the two. I mean, this would of course be a four by I mean mu nu uh, mu by nu matrix. Okay, so but <coughs> but but these elements or this. They do not depend on the word sheet coordinates. If they do not depend on word sheet coordinate, then you call them global symmetries. Okay. And the other kind of symmetries that we would now be considering, they are the local symmetries. Local symmetries have to be functions of the word sheet coordinates. Okay. Local symmetries have to be. <coughs> so. Uh, So, uh, word sheet uh, symmetries. These this are important to, to recollect. So, sigma alpha goes to sigma tilde alpha, which is a function of sigma. Uh, this is sigma alpha minus. Uh, so this kind of transformation that means 
the word sheet coordinates change according to this. Okay. Word sheet coordinates change according to this. So you could call this as the delta of sigma alpha. Okay. And now here, let us try to see what happens to x mu sigma. This goes to x mu tilde sigma tilde. This goes to x mu sigma sigma tilde. This goes to x mu plus zeta gamma del gamma x mu of sigma. So if I write this as x mu plus delta x mu, then my delta x mu is uh, let me let me summarize it here. And then my delta x mu is zeta gamma del gamma x mu of sigma. Okay. Now let us have a look at what happens to the h alpha beta. Okay. Uh, H alpha beta should transform into two tensor, okay? Second rank tensor. So H alpha beta is a function of sigma. H tilde alpha beta sigma tilde. And now this should transform into second rank tensor.